Hey, what's up, people? Consensus ZK EVM will be going public on the 28th of March. Now, if you are a whitelisted user, ensure that you have done the needful, which is this, setting up your infrared RPC endpoint. Also, make sure you have interacted so many times with the applications in the ecosystem before the 28th of March. Now, take a look at the ecosystem. It's growing so fast already. These are the various applications in the ecosystem already. You can just play around with this application. It's definitely going to help you to boost your chances of getting a bigger allocation when the time for the airdrop comes. Just in case you don't know how to do all this, head straight to my channel. I have a video already on Consensus ZK EVM testnet. Watch this video and follow the steps to set up your infrared RPC endpoint and do the other things you are supposed to do. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy smart contracts on Consensus ZK EVM, Scroll ZK EVM, and Shadium Affanet. That of Shadium Affanet, I've done it in the past. If you have been following a long time, you will know that we have done so much on Shadium ecosystem already. But I'm still going to show you how to do it just in case you haven't done yours up to this time. Also, Hope Protocol has successfully integrated ZK EVM into their Hope's testnet site. And it reads, the consensus ZK EVM is now integrated into Hope's testnet site. <music> And this is Hub Protocol. First, we need to connect our MetaMask. Click on Connect Wallet. Choose MetaMask. Nest and connect. We are connected. Let's bridge from Goyle Eat to ZK EVM. Select Network. Goyle. Select Network again. Consensus ZK EVM. Okay. If you have done activities before this time, definitely you should have some funds in these two different networks. But because we are using Hub Protocol, we need to do some interaction as well. Go ahead and enter any amount of your choice. You want to bridge from Girly Eat into the Consensus ZK EVM. I'll bridge 0 0.003. Then scroll down. It says non whitelisted users risk losing access to any tokens bridged to ZK EVM. To get whitelisted, reach out to the Consensus ZK EVM team. So this is strictly for whitelisted users. If you're not whitelisted, you need to wait for the public testnet. Otherwise, you're going to lose your funds if you try to interact. Okay, next we click on send, then send again. You have to confirm it in your MetaMask. Click on confirm. The bridging process has just started. We'll wait for it to go through successfully. Bridging is successful. We can go ahead and close this. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to bridge from consensus back into Goyle. Okay, I wouldn't be doing that, but you can do it on your own. It's just the same thing. Change the networks by clicking on this arrow and you go ahead to bridge. Next thing we have to do is to go to convert and select a network, which is consensus ZK EVM. Okay. Now we're going to convert some wrap eater into hope eater. Just enter the amount you want to convert. But first we need to switch network. Go to your MetaMax wallet and switch to consensus. All right. Now our balance has just reflected at the top right here. And this imbalance needs to reflect here as well. But it's yet to reflect. I'm not going to wait for that. We just go ahead and convert some wrap eater into hub eater. Okay. Enter the amount 0 0.002. And scroll down and click on convert. Because this is not my first time, that's why you can see convert. Otherwise, you'll first of all see approve. After approving, then you will see convert. Okay. Click on convert. Then convert again, confirm in your wallet, and that is successful. Look at the difference in the balances we have right now. All right, next thing we have to do is to go straight to the pool. Here I'm going to add liquidity on consensus ZK EVM pool. So click on it, then impute the amount you want to add 0 0.002, then click on preview and deposit. Confirm it. It has to go through these various stages, so be patient. And that is it. Done. Okay, next we have to withdraw and we can go for 10% or 20%. I'll go for 10%. Okay, and here it is. Then click on preview again and withdraw. Give permission. Same stages once more and confirm it again. And we are done. Okay, this is all we have to do 
in the whole protocol for now. Next, let's go and deploy a smart contract on Consensus ZK EVM. This is truthful, the main application for deploying contract on Consensus ZK EVM. Now, I have to be honest with you, I'm yet to find out exactly how to use this application. I am working on that already. There are a lot of stuff we need to install. So once I'm able to find my way around it, I will definitely let you know. But for today, we are going to be using the Remix to deploy our contract okay this is remix okay what we have to do is to go straight to this icon which says create new file click on it then go ahead and type in test.soul the soul there is solidity all right and that is all you have to enter right here then click on this we now have a blank panel where we're going to be pasting the code we need to deploy this contract where do we get the code from it is over here at blc scan this is the binance busd contract code so we're going to be using it as the code to deploy our own contract and here is the code everything you're seeing here is the code we just go over this other side and click on copy source code to click board okay hope you can see it then we head straight back to the remix and paste it in right here and you're going to get this promptings if you're cool with it you go ahead and click ok otherwise you can forget about deploying any contract once you're okay with that promptings, this is what your panel is going to look like. Next, we go straight to Solidity Compiler or Compiler, then click on it. And it says Compile Test. So go ahead and click on it also. It is updating your compiler version, and that is done successfully. The next thing we have to do is to go straight to Deploy and Run Transactions. Click on it. And here we have to change the Remix VM into injected provider which is the metamax click on it make sure you're on the consensus zk evm testnet network in your metamax again we have to click on this and scroll down straight to wallet connect click on it and our panel is going to change into what you can see right now it says infra settings as a whitelisted user you already have this in your infra account okay now head straight to your infra account and go ahead to log in once you log in you're going to see something like this remember the web3 account you created for me this was the one i created so i'll just click on it then scroll down you're going to see your consensus zk evm testnet rpc okay then copy it out and head back straight to remix here you're going to paste it you say please provide an infra id go ahead and paste it in and that is it then next click on connect to a wallet then select metamax next and connect the next thing we have to do is to deploy go ahead and click on deploy and over here is this creation of b20 token is pending then wait for your metamax wallet to pop up for you then click on confirm and wait for a message to prove that it actually was successful and this is the message right here we have successfully deployed a contract and this is the block transaction index over here you will see the contract address if you want to add it up into the metamax you can go ahead and do that this is how to deploy a contract on consensus zk evm and next we move straight to scroll zk evm this is a scroll zk evm you have to of course switch your network from consensus straight to Goyle. so switch network this is scroll phase 3 testnet now before we do anything here i need to take you back to the portal first of all right here in the portal you know the scroll has raised about 50 million dollars in a seed round to build this application and that is massive okay in the previous videos we've done about scroll we have scroll l1 and scroll l2 but right now we have Goyle testnet and we have school alpha testnet so goily is the layer one of course and school alpha is the layer two it means that in this phase three we are not going to be using the previous networks so you're going to be adding the school alpha testnet network into your metamax i've already done that for you just go ahead and click on add to metamax head straight to the bridge and perform some transactions now you have to bridge from goily testnet into the school alpha testnet i have done that already as you can see the balance i have on 
squarely and that of scroll alpha testnet so just enter any amount you want and bridge over and that is what you need to do for now in this application okay then the next thing we have to do is to go ahead and deploy a contract on scroll we are also going to be using remix so we go back to remix okay so we are ready to deploy another contract the first thing we're going to do here is to change the default workplace to scroll alpha workplace so we click on create a new workplace and we have to delete this very one which is the default and pasting scroll alpha workplace then click on ok and this is what it is going to look like the next thing is to create a new file click on it here you're going to type in scroll.so that is it then click on this and we have another panel that is blank for us to paste another code I'm going to get this code and I'll leave all the links in the description for you to get this code as well. I have the code and I'll paste it in. Okay, this is what the code looks like. And next, we'll go straight to Solidity Compiler. Click on it and compile school.so. It is updating the compiler version. And this is what it's going to look like once more. Then next, go straight to Deploy and Run Transactions. We already selected Injected Provider, which is Metamax, and that is cool. But make sure you're on school alpha testnet network so next we click on deploy go ahead to confirm it in your wallet and that is successful this is the block and the transaction index and over here it says deployed contract and this is the contract as well you can copy it and add in your scroll alpha network if you want to do that so this is how to deploy on the scroll network finally on scroll head straight to guild and get your role on scroll make sure you get this role which is the mystery role how do you get this role First, you have to follow school underscore ZKP on Twitter. You should have a Twitter account since at least the 1st of October 2022. If you have all these, then you will have the access to the mystery role. This is all we have to do on school for now. Next, we move straight to Shedium. We all know that sometime last month, Shedium introduced the Things Better testnet. This is actually the latest phase in their testnet okay and this is the end point or the rpc for this things network if you want you can go ahead and add it automatically or manually then we already have this in the previous phases we have the liberty 2.0 which you can add automatically or manually as well and we have the first they actually introduced which is liberty 1.1 but right now it is known as liberty 1 6. You can add this automatically or manually. But for this deployment, we are going to be using Liberty 1.6, this very one. So go ahead and add it automatically or manually. After adding it up, the next thing you have to do is to get some test tokens. So we head straight to the faucet, click on Claim Testnet SHM, and here we are. Scroll down a little, you're going to see the different links with which you can claim for each of these networks and for liberty 1.6 you'll be going straight to this very link now you should know exactly what you need to do here click on tweet now okay it and go ahead to make a tweet on twitter you have to replace this address right on the tweet with your own metamax wallet address before you click on send the tweet after sending the tweet you need to copy the link to that very tweet Come back to this page and paste in the URL to that tweet. Confirm you are a human. Next, you click on request SHM. You're going to get some Shellium token in your Metamax. Okay. Next thing we have to do after getting this test token is to head straight to Remix. Once again, we go straight to File Explorer and hit Home. And we have to change from School Alpha Workplace into the default workplace. Here we are. All right, we're going to follow the same steps by creating a new file. Click on this, and now you have to give this your own name. It depends on you to decide what name you want to give to it. For me, I'll be going with crypto.so. Then click on this, and we have another blank panel to impute our new code for sharing. I'll also go ahead to get the code and paste it in right here. I'll be leaving all the links to where you can get this code in the description. I have my code and I'll paste it in. Okay, so this is what your panel is going to look like after you have pasted in the code. And next, we go straight to Solidity Compiler. Click on it. 
and it says compile crypto so click on it also and we are good to go and finally we go straight to deploy and run transactions make sure on the shadium liberty 1.6 network in your metamax also remember to keep it on injected provider metamax and next we have to click on deploy wait for your metamax to pop up then confirm in your metamax successfully deployed we have the block and transaction index right here and at the bottom you will see deployed contracts and this is the contract address you can also go ahead to add it up in your metamax if you want to do just that and guys this is exactly how to deploy on these three different networks and on any other network you want to deploy you can go ahead to follow the same steps just get the code and create a new file then you'll be good to go all right thank you so much for watching i trust you learned something and you got value please go ahead and smash the like button and share this video everywhere leave your beautiful comments as always if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comments section i'll see you in my next one and don't forget we are gonna make it bye